Okay, real quick, I'm just gonna show you how to replace props. A lot of people don't get this because they don't understand these props aren't all the same. These two spin one way, these two spin another way. So this one is going this way, this one is going this way. So that's how you're able to get it to turn and do the moves that it does. So if you put the wrong prop on one of these motors, it's gonna make it want to flip over when you, when you first take off. So if you do have an accident, you crash, we're just gonna go ahead and show you how to replace a prop real quick. You will need a drill and a drill bit. Um, I'm not gonna show you this, how to drill it out, because I think you guys are pretty smart and I'm gonna think that you guys know how to do it, but there's like this little insert right here that um, basically will be a spacer. If you don't put that in, when you put this prop on, it's gonna be all loose and it's not good. It's gonna actually just completely destroy your motor bearings. So you wanna make sure that this little hub is in there and you wanna drill it out so that it fits really snug when you push that thing down right there. You can see it's not moving, there's no jiggling. So when you get your new prop out, you're gonna get one of these things. And these are the spacers that I was talking about that basically are gonna be making it tight around this thing. So this bigger, fatter one is the one that you're gonna to wanna to drill out. It's really close, but it doesn't quite fit on there. So you wanna drill it out just a tiny little bit, like just the size of that so that it fits really super nice and snug. The other thing you can do is you can pull this ring that's in here. You could push that ring out from the backside and you could, if you're out in the field and you don't have a drill, you can push that out from the backside. Oh, there it goes. So it's really going to be hard for you guys to see this, but there's the little hub right there. And then you can just replace it with your new prop. So when you put your new prop in, you put that in, it's already drilled out. So as long as you don't lose that little piece, you're going to be okay. So you're going to have an extra set of props that come with this and you have the, the, the pusher and the puller. So the one with the P at the end of it is gonna be the pusher and the puller is gonna be the one without. So you can read right on the top of your prop right here, it'll tell you exactly what it is. Now, if your prop's broken right there and you, you can't read that, if you just go diagonal to whichever prop that was, you can read this one and know that it's gonna be the same as this one. So this is the standard push, it's not, it's not the P version. So make sure that you put that back on. You wanna put a little bit of Loctite on here. If you're in the field and you already have done that, then it's still gonna work. It's gonna be better than nothing. But every time you do take that off, you wanna go ahead and put some Loctite on it. I'm doing something totally bad. I should be using a socket on this, but this is all I have. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just hold this real tight. And it helps if you just, you don't wanna cut yourself or anything. So you might wanna take like a cloth. My hands are like leather, so yours may not be. But you can just basically give that a real good turn. You wanna have it on there really tight. You can be too tight, but pretty snug right there, especially with the Loctite. Give it some time to set up. And there you go, fix your props.